Hello, I'm Jason and welcome to this section of the Calculus 1 Derivative Help Tutor. Uh, this section we're going to cover implicit differentiation. Uh, it's a topic that a lot of students have problems with, but I promise you if you learn it in the right way, implicit differentiation is not a big deal. And I plan to show that to you and prove that to you by the end of this section and the end of the next section uh, where we're going to work a lot of problems here. Uh, so don't forget what we've been doing up to this point. We've been taking derivatives uh, where the function was given to you ahead of time, right? f of x is equal to something, some function of x. And all of the techniques you've learned have been geared towards you finding that derivative. But in all of the functions that we've given you all, every single one of them, f of x is on one side and everything else that the function is equal to is on the other side. So to kind of nail this and to kind of bring it home for you, um, you know, it's been something like this, f of x is equal to x squared. Or if you want to write it in a simpler term, you might say y is equal to x squared. This is a, a function, right? So this variable y we say is equal to x squared, but notice that y is completely solved for on this side of the equal sign. So when we take a derivative of this guy, what we're really doing is taking the derivative of both sides of this equal sign. So if we're going to write it in terms of this fractional notation, you would say dy dx is equal to 2x. And that's what we've basically have done earlier in this course, but notice what you're doing. I really haven't sort of explicitly told you this, but you're taking the derivative of both sides of this equal sign. On the right hand side is just 2x, that's the rule of differentiation that we've given you. On the left hand side you're taking the derivative of this variable y, but you don't know anything about y. This is very important, you don't know anything about y, you don't know uh, well, you know it's equal to, to x squared, but you don't know anything else. So basically, when you take the derivative of y, you're, you're just writing down what, you, what you're trying to find the answer to, the derivative of y with respect to x. So on the left-hand side of the equal sign, this y becomes dy dx. On the right-hand side of the equal sign, you just take the derivative. And you can do that because y is totally solved for over here, and, and everything on the other side of the equal sign, you're just using the rules of differentiation that we have. So this is what we have uh, done so far. But let's compare that to a different problem that isn't quite so easy. What if I gave you, and this will be our first problem that we're going to end up solving, by the way. What if I gave you 3y squared is equal to negative 2x fourth? And I said, hey, I want you to find dy dx. How would you do that? Well, you have never been given a function or a problem like this. In all of the uh, problems that we've given you, we've always given you the variable, the um, dependent variable is equal to some function of the independent variable on the right-hand side. Everything's been solved for, so y is by itself. But here, that's not the case. We have 3y squared is equal to something on the right-hand side. So, this equation is said to be implicitly defined. This is what we call an explicit equation because uh, it's, it's, it's explicit because we know that y is equal to something, right? So therefore the derivative of y is equal to something and that's what we have done all this time. Here this is what we call implicit. What, do you, what does the word implicit mean to you? It means that you know, when, when someone implies something, they're not really saying it so overtly. They're kind of hinting a little bit. They're giving you enough clues to figure it out, but they're not really just telling you, right? So that's why this is explicitly telling you what y is equal to. This gives you all the information with regard to how y and x are joined and how they're related to one another, but it's not explicit. It's implicit because I'm not, I'm sort of 